exciting round of the Triton Showers National Rally Championship has brought us to Bunny Buffet in County Donegal, where we have three contenders to lift the prestigious Bard Memorial Trophy. Our championship leader, Declan Boyle. Our current tarmac and forestry champion, Josh Moffat. And Donegal's Joe McGonagall. The Jackson's Hotel Donegal Harvest Stages Rally has attracted a capacity entry of 140 crews with over 40 more on reserve. Certainly the biggest of the season. At round five in Sligo, Boyle and Moffat crashed out within a stage of each other, leaving McGonagall to take maximum points and lead the series. But at round six in Clare, McGonagall was a non-starter while Moffat took victory, with Boyle finishing fifth to move into the lead of the championship. A top eight finish will be enough for Boyle to claim the title. It's still going to be a fast rally. Uh, we still need to be on the pace, but hopefully, uh, you know, a top eight, it's, it's, it's doable. But Let's wait and see. Look at it, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a very tough day with those weather conditions out there and even the nature of the stages, so it's going to be tough for anybody. We're just going to go out and enjoy ourselves today regardless and whatever happens, happens. For myself or Josh to do anything, it's going to require a bit of misfortune for Declan. We don't really want that either, you know, it's been a good race all year, so hopefully we'll get land. Clark of the course, Sam Pearson and his team at the Donegal Motor Club have brought the action to the Finn River Valley for the first time in eight years, where the longest stage of the rally, Mean Ray, kicks off the event. Stage two is the alt test, which is one for the brave-hearted. While stage three, Carno and Hill finishes off the loop of three, which is repeated three times. But now let's join Olive at the start line of stage one where the wet conditions are sure to add to the nerves with the championship in the balance. Stage one of the final round in the Triton Showers National Rally Championship is just about to start and the pressure is on. Josh Mavish could take the Var Memorial Trophy. He has two championships in the bag already this year. Sam Mavish, our 2017 champion, he made history last year. And of course, Declan Boyle, our championship leader, a Donegal man. And all he has to do is finish eighth or more to take the title. And Joe McGonagall is also in the mix. A Donegal man, eager to do it as well. So much excitement here. Stay tuned. First off the line was Donna Kelly. Having contested the earlier rounds of the Triton campaign, including victory in the circuit of Kerry, this was the 2015 champion's first outing in the Focus WRC since he crashed out of the Donegal International Rally. Understandably cautious, Kelly took time to bed himself back into the car and was third after the opening loop, 46.1 seconds off the lead. And very long one right continues over 80 small tights and exit is okay, it's flat. 60 over mud, press into flat one right and flat two right over crest, 80, four right, keep in, see it. And keep right over crest, into long three left minus, big long three left minus, 80 down, slowing over crest, two right over crest, keep in into six left, don't cut rocks. Holding that lead was the Fiesta R5 of Sam Moffat. The outgoing champion was quickest on each stage of the loop and had no dramas apart from a brief mounting of a bank on stage three. Holding second, Josh Moffat had been just over three seconds off his older brother Sam on the first two tests. But when a drive shaft on the Fiesta WRC broke on stage three, he dropped to rear wheel drive only and trailed Sam by almost half a minute going into service. Suffering from a stomach upset coming into the rally, Declan Boyle wasn't feeling his best and it showed as the championship leader had a very difficult and cautious opening loop to emerge in 12th place overall, over a minute and a half off the lead. Three left, kink, down the bottom there, and three right long, narrows, 
past the junction at Cheney, 60. One and a half. Title rival Joe McGonigal was content to lie in fourth place for now as he got through the opening loop without any major incidents, but there were one or two heart-stopping moments in the mini WRC. Two right coming out of it, then right over 200, one left 80 slot, square left over gravel. Another title up for grabs in Donegal was the Rally.ie Two-Wheel Drive Award. And after a year-long duel, it would be a standoff between Stuart Darcy and Chris Armstrong at the final round. I think to honour that, I'll probably just push it to the end and have the same race we had all year with Chris, you know. May the best man win, you know. Me and Stuart have had a great battle all year and hopefully it'll continue today and uh, we'll see who comes out on top. All right, boys, shake hands. May the best man yeah. win and I wish you the very best Thank of luck. Chris Armstrong was happy to be sixth overall and second in the two-wheel drive standings after a difficult morning and a few scary moments in the Escort Mark II. Two left in the one right over big press jump, 40. One left over flat press, 60. Two right over big press jump, 120. Flat press, 60 to 4 right. We have 60 to 4 right now, 40 to 5 left. 40 out to the 5 left in the one right. Oh. Saddle, one Not going so well was championship rival Stuart Darcy. The local driver felt very fortunate to still be going after a number of close calls and the Darien T90 left him almost half a minute off the pace back in 13th overall. Leading the two-wheel drive contingent, but not registered for points, Declan Gallagher seemed to be in his element in the Toyota Starlet. The local driver was third overall after stage one, but slipped to fifth by the end of the loop. 2010 Tarmac champions Gareth McHale and Brian Murphy marked their first return to rallying after six years with an eighth overall finish at the previous round in Clare, where they debuted their new Fiesta R5+. Plus. The Dubliners were eighth again so far in Donegal and struggling with a misted windscreen in the difficult conditions. Gary McPhillips had his fair share of moments across the morning stages, but he was happy enough with fourth in class and ninth overall. Yet another of the big prizes was going down to the wire this year, and in the hunt for the Motorsport Safety Team Group N Award, Aidan Ray held a four-point advantage over Trevor Bustard as they squared up for a final round showdown. Now the battle is on in the group in Aidan and Trevor, it's down to the wire. Your thoughts? Uh, it's going to be tough today. I think, you know, I think Aidan here might have a bit of local knowledge, you know, and it's just hard to know. I'm, I'm going to try and keep it on the road anyway, and see how we're going, you know. And Aidan, Trevor is the man to beat? Ah, yes, we'll, we'll be trying our best anyway to stay in front of them if it's possible. Um, they're wet out there, so I don't know what way it'll go down, but we'll do our best and hopefully keep the head and keep it on the road. Former Group N champions Aidan Ray and Kieran McGrath got off to a good start to take the class lead and 10th overall in the Mitsubishi Evo 10. Almost 45 seconds in arrears in the Evo 9, it would be a tall order for Group M title rivals Trevor Bustard and John McCafferty to make up the deficit unless conditions got the better of Ray and McGrath. So after a difficult morning, it was Sam Moffat who topped the overall leaderboard, with younger brother Josh second, ahead of Donna Kelly in third, Joe McGonigal fourth, and Declan Gallagher in fifth. The destination of the Vard Memorial Trophy hangs in the balance. Where will it be going? We'll be finding out after the break from a very wet Valley Buffet.
Welcome back to a wet and wintry Bally Buffet for the Jackson's Hotel Donegal Harvest Stages Rally. The final round of the Triton Showers National Rally Championship. With the destination of the overall, two-wheel drive and Group N titles still in the balance, the stakes were high as the crews tackled the second run through the loop of three stages. For rally leader Sam Moffat, it wasn't a great start to the repeat loop as he picked up a puncture on his Fiesta R5. It didn't prove too costly though, but his overall lead was reduced from 29.7 seconds to 17.7 seconds with the final loop to go. Younger brother Josh Moffat was setting the pace now as he clocked three fastest times in his Fiesta WRC. With three stages left, the 17.7 second deficit was not an insurmountable one. Joe McGonagall admitted he was driving as fast as he dared in the conditions and his efforts were rewarded when he climbed to third place in the mini WRC. 200 down to tight chicane, right entry, four bales. And Fellow Donegal man Donna Kelly reported no problems with his Ford Focus as he slipped to fourth overall, but he was just 3.7 seconds off McGonagall in the battle for a podium finish. One left and mid over small, mid over crest, jumping the flat one right, 150 up. Two right minus the going, 45 left, loose comes quick, watch it. Oh. Watch this fight, I have now remember the last time. And one right go go, 150. Declan Gallagher was fifth overall and still led the two wheel drive class despite a throttle cable issue and a slight loss of power on stage six. Declan Boyle was still feeling very unwell, but he was well within target to secure the national title as he climbed to sixth overall on the repeat loop. Chris Armstrong dropped just out of the top ten after a couple of overshoots and a stall, but the cabin driver was still on course to take the two-wheel drive championship as title rival Stuart Darcy was really struggling for grip on cut slick tyres and he slipped to 19th overall. Before we find out who took the major titles, let's see who took the class honours at the final round of the Triton series. In the junior class, Ryan Moore and Christopher Moffat finished third in the Honda Civic. One left, crest and jump, 60 and a one left over crest. One left, crest and jump, 60, one left over crest, 40. Oh, 40, care, one right over crest, jump, nips, 80 one right. Up. Yeah, one right over crest, jump, nips. Father and son crew Dara McNaird and Trevor Graham took second in the junior class in the Toyota Corolla. But taking the junior win was Mayo crew Brian and Larkin Moore in the Honda Civic. Fourteen in, six left over crest, into flat four left slippy, sixty. Flat four, go on, 16 into very long, fast four left. And long, flat six right. Go on, go, long, flat six right, continues over crest, 80. In the historic class, local crew Martin and Dara Doherty took a dominant win in the Escort RS1800. Fifth in class was enough to secure the class one title for Joe and Eddie Moffat in the Honda Civic. But taking class one victory on the day were Keith Ewing and Sean Quigley from Sligo. Local crew Alistair Glenn and Lee Simpson won class two in the Peugeot 206. Rory and Martin McGarty took the class three trophy back to Fermanagh in the Peugeot 106. Brendan Freel and Jason McCahill topped the class nine points table with third place at the final round. Taking the Class 9 win on the day was local crew Daniel Kelly and Jalna Breslin in the Vauxhall Nova. Monaghan's John and Niall Kelly won Class 10 in the Toyota Corolla. Lee 
Ian Christie McLaughlin won Class 11F to secure second in the overall Sligo Palace Border Championship and the Class Honours in both the National and Border Series. After early mechanical trouble forced them out, Chris McLaughlin and Loretta Kelly rejoined under Rally 2 rules to secure the Class 11 or national title on their home rally. Having secured the Junior Championship in Sligo, Jack McKenna was contesting the Donegal Harvest Stages in his 1600cc Toyota Starlet and led Class 11 or with Carl Egan calling the notes. Fast four right in at the top, 40. Fast four right here in, 40. One left over crest, 80 over rough. Short four right, slippy maybe. Four right here, four, 40 until they retired on stage six. Taking the Class 11 or win on the day was local crew Andrew and Shane McTaggart in the Toyota Corolla. Michael McDade and Darren Maguire won Class 12 in the Mark II Escort. Johnny Jordan and Gary McNaird were in the running for the Class 13 title and were leading after two stages, but they retired the Toyota Starlet with mechanical trouble on stage three. Fifth place was enough to secure both the Class 13 national and border titles for Daniel Conaghan and Terence McGee. Jeffrey Dolan and Connor Murphy took third in class in the Talbot Sunbeam. Paul Clark and Martin Byrne took the runner-up spot in their Mark II Escort. But taking the Class 13 win were Paul Pirtle and Raymond Scott in the 2-litre escort. In the Class 14 battle of the 2.5-litre machines, there was disappointment for a number of high-profile crews, with club chairman Brian Brogan retiring with mechanical trouble on Stage 6. Also out were Gary McPhillips and James McNulty, who had been pushing for a Class win until retiring on the final stage. It proved a disastrous home rally for Stuart Darcy as he crashed his Darien out on stage six. Thankfully, both he and navigator Patrick Brides were okay, but the same could not be said off the car. With his title rival out, sixth in class and 14th overall was enough to secure the Rally.ie two-wheel drive award for Chris Armstrong and Chris Melly after a great season in the Mark II Escort. Delighted, yes. I've spent many years trying to get here. Um, didn't look great in the middle of the year, but uh, as a team, we, we kept it together and uh, pushed to the very end. John Bonner and Rory Kennedy took fifth in class and 13th overall on their home rally. Fellow locos Patrick McHugh and Parik O'Donnell were 12th overall and 4th in class. Gary Kiernan and Ryan Moore brought their escort home third in Class 14 and 10th overall. 9.8 seconds ahead and in ninth were Damien Toner and Denver Rafferty, who had to settle for the runner-up spot in Class 14, over a minute behind class winners Declan Gallagher and Derek Hina. The local crew had a fantastic drive to finish fifth overall in the Toyota Starlet. In Class 4, Trevor Bustard and John McCafferty took second place, which was enough to secure the Class 4 title for Trevor Bustard. But he had to settle for second in the overall Group N Championship behind Aidan Ray and Kieran McGrath, who finished 11th overall and took the title for the third time. It wasn't easy today, now, in fairness, and uh, if, if we made a mistake at all, Trevor was there to get the Group M one. Um, we had to just drive very steady. We had to hold our heads because one on stage is very close to home, so we just we we done our best. Like. Forestry regulars Cahan McCourt and Barry McNulty took the Class Five win and finished seventh overall in the Fiesta R5. Four left here at the pole and the four right. Watch over the jump bridge. One hundred. 
Bridge, jump bridge, 300 over bumps. Gareth Serge and Gareth Gilchrist took the Class 7 trophy back to Tyrone in the Subaru Impreza WRC. There was a home win in Class 15 as local crew John Ward and Hugh Malloy took victory in the Subaru Impreza. In Class 20, Michael Boyle, son of Declan, made a decent four-wheel drive debut to finish 5th in class and 16th overall, with Dermot McCafferty navigating in the Mitsubishi Lancer. 200. Right enter chicane, four bales. There's your two board now. Watch your breaking, right? Watch your breaking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 120. Up ya boy. <laughs> Out and in for a four right in. David Leonard secured third overall in the Sligo Palace Border Championship as he finished fourth in class 20 and 15th overall with navigator Thomas Wedlock. It was a difficult event for Declan Boyle and James O'Reilly, but they did what they needed to do, finishing third in Class 20 and eighth overall to secure the Triton Showers National Rally Championship for 2018. Gareth McHale and Brian Murphy took second in Class and sixth overall on their second event in the Fiesta R5 Plus. Joe McGonagall and Kieran Geeney took the Class 20 trophy in fourth overall on the day and finished third in the overall championship on their debut season in the Mini WRC. To the overall podium finishers now, and Donna Kelly retook third place from Joe McGonagall by just 1.8 seconds on the final loop, with Connor Foley calling the notes in the Focus WRC. Exactly one minute ahead in second, Josh Moffat and Keith Moriarty missed out on the overall win by 7.9 seconds when they overshot on the final test. And miss out on the overall championship by 6 points to Declan Boyle. Sam Moffat and Carl Atkinson held off the challenge from Josh and Keith to take the win at the Jackson's Hotel Donegal Harvest Rally. And Sam's record of being the only driver to win all three major championships in one year remains intact. We always knew the harvest was good, so we came down here and we done our notes and nothing different and we drove to them and again Carl done a top job and we just couldn't believe it that we were leading, so it's good. Introducing our newly crowned champions, Declan Boyle and James O'Reilly. Guys, absolutely huge congratulations to you. It's your third time to take this title. You're joining Niall Maguire in the history books. Yes, it's great to join Niall. Uh, the only three times uh, winner. Uh, brilliant to, to, uh, to do that. It was a tough, tough, tough year. But we had to just play the tactical game for the championship, I think, this year, and it paid out in the long run, although it was tough. <laughs> So there's confirmation of the final results in Donegal. And after a long, hard season, it's Declan Boyle and James O'Reilly who take the Triton Showers National Rally Championship for 2018. With Josh Moffat and Keith Moriarty second, Joe McGonagall and Kieran Geeney third, Chris Armstrong and Chris Melly finish fourth and win the two-wheel drive and mark two titles. The excitement and drama all season long has been in pursuit of this, the prestigious Bard Memorial Trophy. And it's Declan Boyle who adds his name to that list for the third time in six years. It's such an achievement. From me and from all the On The Sports team, thank you so much for watching all season long. We'll see you next year.